What if I told you that the player in today's video not only started his career as a walk-on, but would go on to break numerous school records en route to making it all the way to the NFL? The subject of today's video is former Memphis star and current Chicago Bears wide receiver Anthony Miller. In today's video, we'll be talking about Miller's incredible journey to the NFL and what his future could look like. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I make videos about football and basketball. I really need your help to hit 2.1k subscribers by the end of May, so please take a moment and do that for me. And now let's get started with the rise of Anthony Miller. Anthony Miller was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and loved football from a very young age. His parents both went to college at Memphis, so Anthony was familiar with the Tigers football program. Unfortunately, Miller was only 5'11 in high school, so he was doubted from the very beginning. His coaches said that Anthony was the hardest worker on the team, and he'd even volunteer to play defense just so he could practice more. His high school coach knew he was big time, but he wasn't getting any sort of high major recruiting attention. Anthony remembers coaches coming to his games, watching him dominate on the field, and then give him a simple handshake when the game was over. No one knew why he wasn't getting recruited, because he had the stats to play at a high level. Anthony believed that no coach wanted him because of his 40-yard dash time, which was only a 4.7. He did end up receiving some FCS football offers, but Anthony worked too hard to settle for that, and he knew he was capable of playing at a higher level. And Anthony became a preferred walk-on for Memphis, and he told the Memphis staff that Anthony was going to be the best receiver in their program in a few years. On signing day, Anthony had a piece of paper on the table and picked up the Memphis hat, but there was no offer on that piece of paper. Some may have thought he looked foolish for that, but it was all part of his master plan. When Anthony got to Memphis, they were under second year head coach Justin Fuente. After redshirting, Miller was set to push for playing time his freshman year, but sadly he injured his shoulder and had to watch the whole season from the sidelines as his team went 10-3 and, and beat BYU in the Miami Beach Bowl. Finally, after two years, Miller was able to compete for the team and he became a starter just like he knew he would. As Memphis got off to a 5-0 start, Miller quickly became the team's best receiver as going into the Ole Miss game, he led the team in receiving yards. Number 13 Ole Miss came to town and it was set to be one of the biggest games in Memphis football history. They ended up winning by two scores and Anthony Miller had a huge game on national television. Led by Paxton Lynch, the Tigers ended up going 9-4 where they lost to Auburn in the Birmingham Bowl. On the year, Miller caught 47 passes for 694 yards and a team-high 5 touchdowns. Following the season, Justin Fuente left to take the head coaching job at Virginia Tech, and quarterback Paxton Lynch went on to become a first-round NFL draft pick. Going into his junior year, Mike Norvell was the new head coach, and Raleigh Ferguson was the new quarterback. Miller not only became the team's best receiver in 2016, he also became one of the best receivers in all of college football. He helped lead the Tigers to an 8-5 record, where they lost to Western Kentucky in the Boca Raton Bowl. On the year, Miller caught a crazy 95 passes for 1,434 yards and 14 touchdowns. Despite gaining NFL interest, Miller decided to forego the draft and come back for his senior year. Going into the 2017 season, Miller was a potential All-American and Memphis was expected to compete to win the American Conference. Ferguson was once again the quarterback and Memphis now had a breakout star in running back Daryl Henderson. The Tigers were set up for another primetime matchup, this time against number 25 UCLA. Anthony Miller had another spectacular game as he helped the Tigers upset the Bruins. After losing to UCF, Memphis would go on to win their next 7 games. It would have likely been 8, but their game against Georgia State was cancelled due to Hurricane Irma. Memphis won the AAC West, but they would have to beat UCF in the American Championship game if they wanted to make a BCS Bowl. In one of the best games of the 2017 season, UCF defeated Memphis once again, but this time it took 2 overtimes to do so. After that, Memphis would go on to lose to Iowa State at their home stadium in the Liberty Bowl. On the year, Miller finished with 96 catches for 1,462 yards and 18 touchdowns, while also becoming a consensus All-American. For someone who was just a walk-on, you could say he finished pretty high in Memphis' football statistical records. Miller holds the all-time record for catches both in a season and in a single game, is the all-time leader in receiving yards in a career, single season, and single game, and holds the records for touchdowns in a career, a season, and a single game. Yeah, Miller was pretty spectacular at Memphis, and I expect his records will never be broken there. Despite all the accolades, Anthony Miller wasn't expected to be a first-round pick, but he was still projected to be a solid NFL player. Scouts knew Miller was a guy with steady hands, incredible playmaking skills, college production, and a strong work ethic, but they were still concerned about his size. The Chicago Bears ended up taking Miller with the 51st overall pick in the second round, and he was expected to play a big role with the team from the get-go. As a rookie, Miller was expected to get playing time alongside Allen Robinson, Tariq Cohen, and Taylor Gabriel. He ended up having a really solid rookie year, and he finished 5th on the team in receptions and yards with 33 catches for 423 yards, but he actually led the team in touchdowns with 7. Anthony was expected to break out in his second year with the Bears, and he did to a degree. He ended up catching 52 passes for 656 yards, but this time he only caught 2 touchdowns. I fully blame his touchdown drought on their quarterback Mitchell Trubisky, and if he had a better quarterback, I think Anthony has the potential to put up Pro Bowl caliber numbers. 
Overall, I really like Anthony's game, and he's by far one of my favorite players in the Bears, and I expect him to have a huge third year with the team. If you are a Bears fan, please let me know what you think of Miller down in the comment section below. Overall, Anthony Miller's journey to the NFL is absolutely crazy, and I cannot believe he started his college career as a walk-on. I'm someone who lives and breathes college football, and I didn't even know that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button as it'll really help my channel grow. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel, as I really need your help to hit 2.1k subscribers by the end of May. Also, be sure to check out my latest video about the rise of Terry McLaurin, and all my other videos on both the screen and in the description down below. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until then, peace.